Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to focus on a kit build. I recently purchased the Express Motor Freight Lines kit, as you saw in my mail call video a while ago. I'm gonna start building this and I'm gonna turn it into my tow truck yard. I opened the kit and I'm gonna show you what actually comes in the kit and there was a nice few surprises, so I'm gonna go over that right now. The kit itself doesn't look like it's gonna be a too long of a build as the instructions right here are only front and back so it doesn't look like it's gonna take me too long to build but I'll just go over what actually came in the box itself you have the base and the roof for your main building the base and the roof for the garage area you got the walls for your garage you got more garage pieces right here you got the sidings and the front area for your main building. You have all the garage doors and the windows and it looks like you have some ease troughs and some downspouts for your, your buildings as well. And then, another, and then a nice surprise was it includes some corrugated fence. I'm really looking forward to doing that and adding some uh, weathering and all that as well. And what it also came with was two gas pumps and oil and some uh, barrels there's 16 barrels that you can build it in total out of these. And then these, are, I believe, are your windows for your main building, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really gone over the instructions yet, but I'm going to do that while I build it. And what I've decided to do was keep the actual mold molding color that it came in the same. I was thinking about repainting it, but what I might do is just paint the light like the edge here a different color so it's not the same as the brick color and then I'm gonna keep that color the same as well for the garage but I'm gonna weather it when the kits completely done and then this also came in the kit which is a piece of plastic which I think is supposed to be the backing for the the doors and the windows I'm not sure but I think that's what it is but I was really surprised to see the pumps in the barrels so I can add that to my scenery as well because I can use this fuel little this little fuel tank that I got from Shapeways a while ago to add into the scene as well so I'm gonna pause the video here and do some work and then I'll show you what I have done in a few minutes stay tuned everybody so what I did was I took some painters tape and I just taped off the areas that I don't want to paint black this, as you remember, this was the eaves troughs, and I believe this is the part for uh, one of the, in the interior structures. I'm not really sure what this part is yet, but I didn't. Want, I don't want to paint it black because I'm not sure what it is yet. But I just taped off what I don't want to paint uh, black. So all the doors and the windows are. Gonna, I'm just gonna do a quick coat of black on, and here we go. So that's pretty much all I do. I'm just gonna set this aside and wait for it to dry and I'll move on to another part. So I'm back. What I just did was I glued three wall sections for the garage area together. And the one thing I really like about this kit and I must recommend to anybody who is looking for a kit with a garage and a separate building is these little inserts for the walls right there. They fit very, very well into each other and it, they make gluing this kit a lot easier than some kits that I've had in the past. As you can see here, if I can pick it up, is it's a different level compared to the back, the front and the back are two different, or the sides and the back are two different levels, sorry about that. And with those little tab inserts, it makes gluing them seamless. Like this is the most, like this is the straightest I've ever had a kit come out so far. Like there's no holes in the walls. There's no separation of the glue. So I really do recommend this kit to anybody who is looking to have this. But I'm gonna leave this video off here for now until I can put the doors and the garage doors into it and the windows. So I'm just gonna let these dry, and then in part two of this video, I'll show you what I've done so far on the rest of the build. But I'm gonna leave this video here. Thanks for watching. 
stay tuned and catch you on the next one everybody take care and see you on the next one